Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Apollonia and today I want to share with you my recent visit to the beautiful island of St. Lucia. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. My visit to the island of St. Lucia was my first solo trip. It was actually during the pandemic in January for my 30th birthday. However, I still wanted to make sure that I had a memorable experience. After touching down at the UVF airport, I was picked up by my COVID certified taxi and tour guide, Shane, who showed me the town of Sufre. We stopped by the local bar, Empire 758, grabbed some piton beers, and I started my journey. The first accommodation I stayed at is Crystal's Villa Hotel, which is located in Sufre. I stayed in the Sugarcane Villa, which has a beautiful looking point of the pitons, along with a private plunge pool and lush greenery. This villa also features a fully equipped kitchen, open living space and dining room with dual vanity sink and a shower in the bathroom. On the second floor leads to the master bedroom. On my first day in St. Lucia, it was actually my birthday, and the owner left me a bottle of champagne to celebrate while I relaxed and enjoyed soaking in the sun, enjoying the view of the pitons. I also took the opportunity to lounge in the private pool during the times it didn't sun shower. Every morning for breakfast, the staff delivered a beautifully set table that consisted of fresh fruit, breads and homemade jams, eggs made any style, and coconut pancakes. I definitely felt spoiled because that's a better breakfast than I eat at home. For my first excursion in St. Lucia, I decided to do the Go Piton hike. Now this is not your normal hiking trail, it's a vertical hike. You're climbing rocks up a steep mountain or the piton that lasts for about four hours. Two hours to come up and then two hours going back down. But if you're up for the challenge, the views that you see of the island are spectacular. Unfortunately, as I began my hike, it started to rain and I had to climb through muddy and slick conditions, which, which basically only made my hike more challenging. However, when I finally got to the top, which took about two hours, including the rest stops, the views were breathtaking. For the second part of my trip, I stayed at the Stonefield Villa Resort, which is a luxury resort also located in the town of Sufre. I stayed in Villa Casarina, which is a beautiful private villa with a pool, sun loungers, and an amazing view of the Petit Piton and ocean. And as you can see, they graciously decorated my room for my birthday, which was so sweet of them. When leaving your villa, you follow the trail to the mango tree, which is an exquisite restaurant right on the property that has the best view of the piton, along with public pool for some of the guests the nicest staff that you'll ever meet, and the most delicious cuisine. During my time at Stonefield, I took a day trip to Malgratu Beach, which is right below the resort, and had a small picnic, which was provided by the resort, and was able to enjoy the sun, the sand, and the crystal clear ocean water.
For my next excursion, I did a coastal cruise, which was an amazing experience. Thanks to my tour guide, Solomon, who gave me the best views of the island, including Sugar Beach and Chasnay, and of course, the Pitons. I also learned about some of the island's history, thanks to his great knowledge. And to the top, the brown one you can see to the top, it's a private hill. That's for the brown ones, those it's like five to six thousand a night. And of course I had to snap some pictures along the way. Then I took a quick trip to the sulfur springs and had a nice dip in the sulfur baths to rejuvenate my body and my skin. And I also had a little fun playing with the mud and making body art. St. Lucia is a beautiful island with so many fun things to do and places to explore. If you ever have the opportunity to visit, I suggest you do so because it is an amazing experience that everyone should have a chance to encounter. Whether you're into relaxing on the beach, going out to eat, or up for an adventure, St. Lucia has something for everyone. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today and watching my video. If you haven't already, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye!